Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Ezine by ILF M50 handheld cordless vacuum cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum cleaner and some of the features and benefits that it offers. But before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the thumbs up. What I normally do is I normally talk about things like cordless vacuums and other household appliances. So if you just do that then I'll carry on. I have tested one or two products by this brand, Ezine by Eyelift, and I must say I've been really impressed with them so far. Uh, this is quite a new product to the range. Uh, with this it's very very lightweight, uh, there's not a lot to it at all, so if you do suffer with your hands or if you need something lightweight then this would certainly be one to consider. We are finding this kind of product is starting to become quite popular now, the smaller designed cordless vacuum. And the main reason, for a lot of people, if you've got, uh, for example, a, another brand of cordless vacuum that's on the wall, uh, in say utility or in a cupboard, then to have to go and get that and take it off charge and, and all of that, just to clear up a couple of crumbs that are on your worktop, then it can be a bit of a pain. So just by having something small like this actually on your worktop, it can be a really good way to go. The vacuum itself is pretty compact. Uh, it's about 44 centimeters long, or about 17 and a half inches. Uh, what you'll find is that when you come to operate it, you've got the on and off switch here. And on this particular model, it has actually got two stage power switch. So what I mean by that, so hopefully you could hear the difference. Uh, on the lower power setting, you can actually get around 32 minutes of runtime. Now, for this size vacuum, then that is really, really impressive. Uh, what you will find is that as you go to the higher suction, then clearly that will reduce. But to get around half an hour runtime, something like this is very good. When it comes to emptying the bin, then it is very easy as well. You've got the button underneath, and that just flips up on the front there. I'm not sure if you've watched any of my other videos. Uh, what I tend to do is I've done quite a few cleaning videos on cordless vacuums like this. Uh, so when it comes to the actual maintenance of a vacuum, when I'm talking about these, I'm really quite interested. And on this one, I'm pleased to say it is very easy. If you want to take the bin off, then all you do is you just press that clip underneath, then that will come off. And when it comes to the actual cleaning of it, then you can just pull the, the main filter out. The bin itself, uh, surprisingly, is actually quite big for the size of the vacuum. It's around 150 millilitres. And when it comes to taking the filter apart, just twist that, and then the little filter can be removed from inside. So really easy to take apart and to clean. The filter there will be washable. Uh, what I do normally say, when, when you clean in the vacuum, then when it comes to the cleaning and washing the filter, make sure it's completely dry from when you've washed it. Uh, the main problem can be is if you wash it, and even if you leave it for an hour or so, even though it might look and feel dry, it won't be properly dry. So what you need to do is leave it for ideally 24 or 48 hours before you put it in the vacuum, because if you don't, then it can damage it, and that won't be covered under the warranty. What I'd normally recommend when buying a vacuum cleaner is to buy a spare filter. And what that means is that you can actually wash the filter, leave that on the side for a couple of days to dry properly, and then put the other filter back in, and then you can carry on vacuuming. And I'm pleased to say that you do get a spare filter with it anyway. So that's really good. And then when it comes to putting the vacuum back together, you just pop the filter in there, and just locate that on top. That's it. So just make sure you twist it so it locks into place. There are a couple of arrows on the side, just to show you which way to twist it. And then once you've got that, you just pop the, pop the filter back into the bin, and then just locate the bin back onto the vacuum, then it clicks into place, and then ready to go. So on the vacuum, you have got a battery indicator, and again, it's like a three-stage indicator. So you can see at the moment it is fully charged. Uh, what you will find is that it will reduce, so you will go down to two bars, then one bar, and then it will flash, and then that clearly that will need recharging. Uh, when it comes to charging the vacuum, there are a couple of options. Uh, the first one is you can actually sit it on the base, 
So this base is included with it. So it's really nice, sturdy design. Uh, so you can, you can either plug the, the charger in, that just goes underneath here. Uh, that's probably going to be the most popular option. I suppose for a lot of people you are, then are going to sit it on the worktop, then you can just plug the charger in. There is a little slot at the back there. And then whenever it's on the base, then it's charging. That's normally the recommended way. I suppose there's nothing worse than going to your vacuum and then realizing it's not charged when you want to use it. So at least by storing it on the base, then each time you use it, then it's guaranteed to be fully charged. You have got another option to charge it. Um, if for some reason you didn't want to use the base, then you don't have to. Um, you get this lead with it as well. So it's a USB charging lead. So that just plugs in the top there and then just plug that into a USB socket and then it will charge. So it's quite unique in this industry. We tend to find not many cordless vacuums offer charging via USB, but that's really good. You do get a couple of tools with a vacuum. And the first one is this. This is uh, like a crevice tool. So it's quite thin at the end there. And then it actually acts as a, a double tool. So what you can do is you can actually use it as a soft brush as well. These are quite soft bristles. So that's ideal. Uh, if you're in a, say, a kitchen, if you're going around a hob, then that's really good. It just means it won't scratch around there. And with these, these just slot into the end here. So it just makes it a little bit longer. But it's nice you've got the flexibility with this tool. And the other tool it comes with is this one. This is more like an upholstery tool. Uh, you've got very short bristles on here. Uh, this is ideal if you say vacuum in your sofa. And again, that just slots in there. A slightly wider tool, so apart from your sofa, you could be doing your stairs. And then when you're finished with the tools, then you can actually store them on the back of the dock itself. So you can just pop them on the back there. Uh, again, just a nice simple design, but there's nothing worse than having a couple of tools and then having to put them in a drawer. You might as well keep them with a the vacuum, but then at least you know where they are. So we'll just have a quick go with it. Uh, first one is, so I've got some porridge oats on the left hand side here, and then I've got some rice on the right hand side. Uh, what I have done is, uh, basically this is in a showroom that we've got, so we've got a couple of hobs here. I've put them quite near to the edge because this can be quite a good test for it. I certainly found it quite easy. If you are thinking of buying one of these, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed the quick video on the Ezine Bar Eyelift M50 cordless vacuum cleaner. All I'd normally say is please give me a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments below. I do always have comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video or the vacuum itself. If you've got any questions on the vacuum, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.